the entire class will be divided into three parts the very first part will be here in the paint where we will be discussing what is major axis minor axis then i'll take you to sketchup and then i'll take you to etabs and we'll wind up the entire class hello and welcome back to civil field trainers my name is shadab so the topic i selected was uh, uh, from my instagram channel i had put up a poll over there and uh, this was the video that was uh, selected by the students if you want to follow me on instagram the link you'll find in the uh, description or in the comment sections so let's get started the very first thing that you need to understand about column orientation is the is that the columns basically can be run in two ways one is in this direction okay and the other is in this direction all right now we're talking about rcc columns over here and uh, you can go for circular columns also but that will be a complete different uh, discussion on its own so basically we have got two orientations of column one is this and the other one is this now how do i orient them is basically by major axis and minor axis now how do we define what is major and what is minor axis for that you need to understand this thumb rule first so let me put up a note over here okay i just put up a note so very first note is the longer side is always the depth in column okay please remember this this is very important that the longer side is always the depth in the column so if i ask you a question now what is going to be depth in this particular orientation the answer will be this this is going to be the depth so let me just make it in black okay so in this direction this is depth so in this direction what is going to be the depth let me just bring it a little down over here the answer is going to be that this side is going to be the depth why because the longer side is always going to be the depth in the column so if this is depth then what is going to be this direction it is going to be the breadth okay all right so we have got breadth breadth and we have got depth here now we will get two axes right one will be in x direction which will be this axis and the other will be in y direction which will be this axis same way here one axis will be here in the x direction okay and the other axis will be here in the y direction like this now we have to decide what is major axis and what is minor axis now off the bat i'm just going to go and write over here okay this is going to be our major axis all right this is major axis and this is going to be our minor axis over here okay now why have i written major axis over here for this one because the definition of major axis is that the axis should be perpendicular to the depth okay so i'll let me just mention over here in the second point second point being the axis which is perpendicular to the depth is considered as major axis this is the second point that you have to remember the very first point is what that depth is going to be the longer side now the, the axis that is going to be perpendicular to depth is going to be considered as major axis all right so here which is going to be major axis this one or this one the answer is this is going to be our major axis over here why simple because it is perpendicular to our what our depth this is going to be our minor axis okay all right so i hope you have understood that whatever the longer we consider it to be depth and then the axis which is perpendicular to the depth is considered as major axis and then which is parallel is considered as minor axis now third and the most important point here in the note part is okay the column should be oriented in such a way that the axis of bending is major axis let me just put this in caps all right so what does this basically mean okay i should orient my columns in such a way this is basically my column right i should put them in such a way that the bending should be along the major axis okay now if bending is to be considered in this case the bending will happen in this direction right so if the bending is happening in this direction all right then we call it to be a major axis bending if the bending is happening along this axis all right if it is bending somewhere like this it will be considered as be minor axis bending to better understand this concept of bending i'll take you to sketchup now let me just open this up and we have basically two columns or two uh, uh, you know frames over here let me just zoom in a bit more okay this is our very first frame and you can see the columns are oriented in which direction they are oriented in this direction and we have a beam sitting on this column now this beam will have what this beam will have its own self weight it have the load acting on this basically wall load and everything will be acting on it now because of all these loads and because of this orientation what happens my columns and my beams will bend like this okay there is more amount of here buckling is there why is this the case because of the orientation 
okay so let me just come back over here for a second if you come and see here the length of resistance is very small okay it is basically one feet and some some inches it is there okay whereas if i come over here now to this particular uh, conf uh, configuration you can see the length of resistance is so much okay so if i just go and draw this from this point to this point see the length of resistance is more all right so if i just show it to you now even though the beam is sitting on it it has all the loads coming on it and everything the bending will not be that much okay because of my column orientation okay if you orient column like this it will very easily bend inwards that's why you're getting something like this whereas when you align the column in the direction the bending will not be that easily uh, possible by the weights of the beam okay that is what we have discussed here major axis minor axis and if you're not able to understand this okay you're like no sir i'm not able to understand this even now i'll give you a very simple uh, formula that you have to follow okay that is that is very this is the one that is very important i just want to note over here the shorter side of the column should be aligned along the longer side of the beam along the longer beam will be much better along the longer beam okay shorter side of what column should be along align the longer beam if you are not able to understand any of this, I, you are not able to understand even this sketch up uh, drawings, doesn't matter. Just remember this part. Okay. What is that part? The shorter side of the column should be aligned along the longer beam. What do I mean by this? For example, uh, let, uh, let me just draw this over here. Okay. And uh, I have one beam going in this direction, one more beam going in this direction. Okay. And here I have got one more beam over here. All right. Now, when I put my columns, how will I orient my columns? I'll put a column over here. All right. And I'll put a column over here. After which, if I put a column in this direction, something like this. See, the moments generated over here and the moment generated here will counterbalance each other. Okay. Whereas if you see at the back end, there's nothing there. So I shouldn't orient my column like this. Instead, I should orient my column something like this. So basically what I'm doing, I am orienting my shorter end of the column along the, the length of the beam like this. Now this is one scenario. What if I had some other scenario like this? Instead of this, uh, let me just draw it some bit different like this okay i'll draw one line over there one line here and one more line over here now as per this uh, note what am i supposed to do when I'm, I'm putting my columns i should align my columns along the longer length of the beam for example if this is three meters and say this is something like seven meters and this is say something like three meters again now along which side will i orient my column i'll orient my column along this particular direction Okay, this is what you have to remember. The shorter side of the column will go along the longer beam direction. Okay, if you want to understand what we are doing, you can come and see here, major axis, minor axis. Here, what is the condition? The column should be oriented in such a way that the axis of bending is major axis. Bending should be along major axis. If you see here, if I were to come and draw uh, the lines over here, for example, the axis of bending is what? Major axis only. Okay, because the longer side is going to be the depth, if I can just uh, use a pencil and uh, draw a line uh, to go for the top view for this. Okay. See, this is my beam, right? So basically what I'm going to do is if I were to ba basically draw a line. Okay. Like this. This is going to be my D. This is going to be a major axis. If you come and see, this is what I have done. Right. I have drawn a line like this. My depth is this direction, major axis. So whatever bending will happen, will happen along what direction? Along the major axis only it will happen the bending. Okay. If this is too difficult to understand, if it is a bit confusing, the simple thing is the shorter side of the column should be aligned uh, along the longer beam. Okay. So now whatever we have seen here, okay. In this direction where I have got uh, columns in two separate orientations, one being in this and one being in the X direction, one being in Y direction. I have done the same thing in E tabs. All right. So I've got column orientation in which direction along the X, Y direction and along the X direction. Now, what did I say? Whatever the column orientation is there, it should short, the shorter side should be along the beam. Okay. Along the length of the beam. This is what I have done here, right? This particular uh, diagram. This is what I have done. So, uh, you might think the loads might be different. So let me just show you the entire uh, loads and everything. If I just go for wall loads. Okay, there is unlocked. Frame loads, wall loads apply. You can see the wall loads are same. Okay, 
let me just make it simple again if you see the kind of beam that i have given i have given same uh, beams for you both of them are beams okay same section same everything is there the only difference is the column orientation here the shorter side is along the longer side of the beam okay along the length of the beam all right here it is, that is not the case so when i run the analysis the very first thing that i want to show you is the uh, let me go for the moments directly i'll show the bending moments and everything i'll take 1.5 times of the total slab work case apply it and show it to the case so if you see here it is 28.37 it is 44.93 okay so the bending moment there is so much a drastic difference the only reason for this difference is the orientation of the columns so it is very important that you orient your columns in this particular direction in some cases this is not possible okay that is why all of these are like basic thumb rules that you have to follow all right because of architectural purposes sometimes we have to orient columns in the opposite direction also and before we wind up the class if you are interested in learning eight apps and save from us then please do come out and check out our content i'll provide the link in the description if you are interested in learning just eight apps and save you can just see it over here it will cost you 99 rupees but if you want to learn eight apps and rcdc which gives a complete picture of how a structure is supposed to be designed you can come and you can apply a 500 coupon code here again it is available only for three days you can just apply and get the same eight apps and rcdc for 999 rupees not only that we have even got a uh, stat pro content and even on that we have got 500 coupon off right now so if you are interested please do come and check out the content and if you find any value in it please go ahead and start attending these courses they will give you a complete understanding of how a structure is supposed to be designed all right so i hope you have understood this class see you guys in the next class thank you